It's food. It's food. It's food. Four thought. 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 Hey, what's going on, guys? It's been a minute. Your girl been in hiding, literally. And right now, God is really just speaking to me as I'm seeking his face and just redefining a couple of things in my life that I thought I had it all right. Um, When we tend to think in this manner, it becomes dangerous because then we let our guards down and we start getting involved in stuff that we're not supposed to get involved with. As I've just been being intentional about seeking the face of God and getting back, you know, and praying and reading my word, been redefining how I want to live my life. God is really teaching me patience because, um, as you all know, I got saved January, 2017. So, you know, to someone who's been in Christ for 30, 40 years, they're like, dang, she's still a baby. But I really went hard for God. Like I went so hard for him. I was burning myself out. It was simply because of the task that I was putting on myself. I had such a perfectionist outlook. Um, I came into Christ as a workaholic. So I'm like, yo, I was a workaholic. Then I'm going to still be a workaholic for God. And he really been just slowing me down and teaching me patience and teaching me how to rest in him. I just want to harp on a scripture that I read this morning and it really touched my heart. Proverbs 16, verse 9, it says, In their hearts, humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. Lately, I've been just having the question of, God, I know you got this big plan for me, but how am I supposed to get there? What is the way that you want me to go? Me and Angel just had this talk a couple of days ago. And I said, yo, do you believe that there's only one way that God wants us to take to get where we're supposed to be? Or do you feel like there's more than one way to skin a cat? And she was like, I believe there's one path that God has for us. And that's the one that he wants us to take. I was like, sometimes as human beings, we can get the voice wrong and we can make you know, the wrong decision. She brought up a clear point. Just because we make a decision and it could deviate us from the path doesn't mean there's more than one way to skin a cat. There's still one set path. We as human beings just tend to walk off the path and God realigns us and get us back on that path. When I looked up the word establish in Hebrew, the definition was to lay the foundation. In my mind, I was like, in order for me to even take a step, the foundation has to be laid. If God does not lay the foundation, I can't take a step. That requires consistent prayer, constantly seeking God's face because there's so much distractions that tend to clutter our spiritual ears, clutter that allows us to feel that God is speaking and telling us to do one thing when really it's the voice of your friend or the last song that you heard, some movie that you watch. We don't get it right every time. But if we really just seek the face of God and then follow the direction that he gives us, that is how our steps can be established. The foundation will not be laid for you to even take a step if you do not seek the face of God. I just hope that encourage someone to keep on being consistent in your prayer, your devotion time with God, because it really does make a difference on how you get to where God called you to be. I pray that Proverbs 16 verse 9 really encourage you today. You all have a blessed day. I love you. And we in here. Man, that fool look good in the mud, man. Ain't that fool look good in the mud. Lord, Lord God, I thank you for this food, this fried chicken, this mac and cheese, these greens that you putting in my belly, Lord God. I just can't wait to devour your holy word. Now that's food for thought.